7.2.2 it says sketch the graph of they want us to sketch this graph which is what we just did there 3 a 3y plus 2x is equal to minus 6 on the same on the set of x is provided how many marks did they give this one three marks you see they were a bit unfair because guess what they asked you to find the y-intercept and in the y-intercept i mean the x-intercept we did get the x-intercept it was when x is i mean when here we got x is equal to minus three meaning when x is minus three what is y we know what is y y is equal to zero so it was easy for us to come and come here and say okay let's look for the point minus three zero you come here and you say okay there it is that point minus three zero and i told you with a straight line you just need two points so you can choose another point for example here it was x is minus three you see you can choose maybe what about if x is three you can choose that but what i did here by finding the y intercept guess what it's another point that i can actually see that it was actually working for me you see so it means when x is 0, y is minus 2. I can use this point now. So it wasn't just a waste of time. So when x is 0, y is negative 2. So there is a point here. But as I said, let's say you never use that. You can choose any point. For example, you can choose when x is 2. You see there is 2 here. You come here on this equation. Let me work it upwards here. To say, what about when x is equal to 2 so you come here and say 3y plus 2 times 2 remember x is equal to 2 is equal to minus 6 and then you take this to the other side what is 2 times 2 it's 4 so you have got 3y is equal to minus 6 minus 4 remember it was positive when you jump the equal sign from positive you become negative now you check a calculator what is minus 6 minus 4 it is equal to minus 10 you see so let me do this again take it a bit down and again that is what that is 3y which is 3 times y so you divide by what you divide by 3 you divide by 3 then you get your y is what if you use SD on a calculator it will be negative 3 comma 3 3 3 it's not a good number this one it's not a good number because it's difficult to plot you try another one you know because you want something that is easier so already i had that one but let's try another one what about saying when x is 3 here let's try x is 3 and see what it will give us so it will be 3y plus 2 of 3 right is equal to negative 6 right so 3y is equal to when you take this to the other side is positive to negative so it's minus six two times three is minus six you see that when you do that you add keep the sign which is negative 12 this one will work three y or three times y is that divide by three divide by three it's just a repetition of what we did now we can get a, a whole number see three into 12 is four y is minus four so we have coordinates when x is what when x is 3 what is y y is negative 4 you can also have it here when x is 3 y is negative 4 they want to see these so remember how you plot them you say x is 3 is you're here y is negative 4 you're here so we expect a point there and my straight line has to pass through all the points that i'm drawing if it doesn't something is wrong so when i'm drawing this point I can start from here because you know sometimes it's difficult to make that straight line look at this you see it all lies on that and then even here i must continue if i was, I was supposed to continue for the remainder of the graph then you label it what is the graph remember you need to give name to your graph what was the name of the graph 3x plus 2y is equal to minus 6. then you're gonna say this is 3x I mean 3y plus 2x is equal to negative 6 so you just have to erase there and make this a what a y all right so this is the graph so guys that's how you plot three marks 
it's not difficult as I say, but it's very important for you to get all your marks. All right. Now, let's move on to the other question. Again, it was still question uh, that is on graph. I think so it's three points A, B, and C are points on a straight line graph. Okay, you see, we are still dealing with the what? A straight line graph. Use the points to determine the equation of a line. Wow. Okay, let's take it nice and easy. I want to write it again. We have got A. Okay, I don't like that. I prefer this one. We have got a being negative 2 over 3 and 1. That's my a. And then we've got your b being minus 2 and half. Don't worry, I will take it to a place where it's clear. And then we've got c is 0 and 3. I like every time I say 0. Remember 0 has to do with intercept. When you see zero, always remember it has to do with intercept. So here, you ask yourself here, well, you know, these are the things that you must always, your mind must always pick them up. If you see zero, and remember how it's like, this is the X and the Y. This is the X and the Y. This is the X and the Y. Here, it means X is equal to zero. Now, why, where is it that X is equal to zero? In the Y intercept. See, such things you must remember. Anyway, that is fine. But let's continue. They gave you these points. Um, let me take this off. They gave you these points. They want you to find the equation of the line. And I told you there is a form that you must write the equation of a line. What is the general form? Y is equal to MX plus C. And I told you again, what was M, guys? M is the gradient. And then what was C? C was the y-intercept. Are you with me? So those, these are very important. These are very important. And already, didn't we just talk about the y-intercept when x is 0? Do you see already something is happening here? You see? The y-intercept we say it when x is 0, there is the y-intercept. You can actually look at it and it's there. There is the y-intercept. What is the y-intercept? y is equal to 3. See, I'm, I went ahead of myself, but these are the things you must remember. But we will use other means, don't worry. But I was trying to show you how some information given already has answers in it. But now, let's start with the gradient. When you are dealing with a gradient, remember we said gradient how you calculate it, you say for gradient is equal to increase in y, you start with the y values of vertical, increase upwards over, increase down, I mean increase horizontal, and then increase horizontally is x, not downwards please, increase in x, it's better to do this, or I used increase, what if it's not increasing? Uh, the one that I, I think is fair is to say change. Change in y over change in what? In x. You're comfortable there. Change, change, change. Later on, as you grow up, you'll see that this line change, it means this sign. Change in y over change in x. So sometimes you see them writing like this. Gradient is change in y over change in x, you know. I'm trying to make you look. Um, if you write this, you know, for your... For your teacher saying hmm you're growing hey but that's not for your level but i was just trying to show you what they mean there let us continue now what is the change it's up to you remember it's a straight line now there's something i want to bring in as a foundation again let's do this this is the cartesian plane i want to draw a straight line this is y this is x and I'm going to draw a straight line, and the straight line will be like this, right? And I told you every point that lies on this line can be used to find the equation of a straight line. Now, what you need to know, if this was A, this was B, this was C, this was D, this was E, there is a special term that we call A, B, C, D. We are saying A, B, C, D. D, 
E, we say they are collinear, meaning they lie on the straight line. They lie on the same straight line. Now, because they lie on the straight line, one thing you must know is that the, their gradients, their gradients is what? Is the same. Okay. So if here the gradient was, for example, 5, I expect the line also to have the same gradient of 5. I expect here to have 5. I expect here to have 5. So it doesn't matter if you are finding the gradient. You can choose this point and this point. You still get a 5. You can choose C and D. You can choose A and B. You can choose whatever case as long as it is a straight line. The gradient is the same. Why am I telling you that? I'm saying here, you're going to say change in Y over change in X. You ask yourself, but I've got A, B, and C. It doesn't matter. Choose any of them. You can say, okay, just to show you the proof, let us choose A, B. You want to choose A and B to find the gradient using A, B. So if you're going to find the gradient using A, B, change in Y. I say it, sometimes it's good to write it like this so that you can see the Y changing. You can write A on top, which is minus 2 over 3 and 1. And write B at the bottom, which is minus 2 and 1 over 2. It makes it better. So if you say change, change in Y. Remember, this is X and this is Y. There is the Y. So how do you do change in Y? You can start from the top. You can say 1 minus half over remember we started from the top over change in x you do the same thing with the x you also start from the top don't change the sequence you see we are going downwards here so it will be what it will be minus take the sign 2 over 3 right and then i need to be careful now what was this coordinate you see b b was minus this and minus 2 so this is a minus 2 so look it's change Change means subtract. I repeat again. Change means subtract. So 1 minus half. I'm subtracting. I subtracted 1 and half. If in here, minus 2 over 3, minus. But there is the negative of minus 2. You put it also minus 2. That's where they wanted to trick you. If you put one negative there, you are gone. So what do you do? The word change Remember, it will make you subtract. Change will make you subtract. So, if you have already two negatives, you write them. There is one, there is two, but that change is still there. You see? So, I'm subtracting. Hence, you see now there is quite a, a, a lot of negatives there. Then, as I said, rely on the calculator. Look, you, you're using fractions. You don't want to strain yourself unnecessarily. It's one minus half you press that to have half over and then that's how you punch the calculator remember over minus fraction 2 over 3 play forward now minus minus 2 you see do it like that equal to 80 is 3 over 8 so the answer here is what is equal to 3 over 8 guess what Whatever, if you are correct, the change in y over change in x of these two num of these three numbers, they must all give us the same answer. Do you want to try one? Let's try. We said a, b. Let's try, for example, b, c. Out of interest, sake. how will you find the gradient using uh, this b, c? Let me delete this. Now, b, c. I'll write here b which is minus two and a half and i'll write c which is zero and three and my formula says gradient i'll call it m means gradient is equal to change in y which is this which is one over two minus three you still remember over change in x y is always on the top change in x is minus two minus zero see this one didn't have a lot of negatives use the calculator again don't strain yourself the answer must match we must get that same answer we got now be careful fraction then there is half i put a fraction there which is one over two 
minus 3 over minus 2 minus 0 equal to I'm getting something different which is what now this one is giving me what uh, it gave me something different guys it's 5 over 4 this is 5 over 4 then I must find myself where did I make an error because it must always give me the same answer let's check again did I write these right let's check it was minus 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 and 1 that was a b was minus 2 and half I think that's what we did which is change in y which is 1 minus half over change in x which is minus 2 over 3 minus minus 2 let's redo this with a calculator and just see what if I made an error there let's do it which is 1 minus fraction 1 over 2 we agree over and then you put a fraction there you see and then I, I need to put a negative there which is negative what 2 over 3 maybe I'm the one who didn't do the calculator right here minus and then minus 2 right equal to it's still giving me the same answer 3 over 8 and I'm saying to myself why is it giving me 3 over 8 because it's supposed to give me the same answer here all right let's try another another point out of interest so this was um, what is it this was our line a B and this was our line BC right we used BC let's choose another one it can be a C now because that is what we haven't so we used this one so now we want to use this one a C let's see something I mean they, if if they lie on the same straight line they are supposed to give you the what the same answer because here they mentioned the points these these are points on a what on a straight line and then use these to determine the equation of the line so let's do now again let me check again 0 3 was correctly done minus 2 half was correctly done negative 2 over 3 and 1 let's do AC so what do we do let me just divide my line like this there is a which is negative 2 over 3 and 1 there is C this is 0 and 3 now what is gradient M is equal to change in Y you start with that one it will be 1 minus 3 over change in X we started on top which is minus 2 over 3 minus 0 then the calculator will what will give us that answer let's do it it is we'll see now which one might we might have made an error there 1 minus 3 over negative 2 over 3 and then minus 0 equal to I'm getting also a different answer now 1 minus 3 over negative 2 over 3 minus 0 I'm also getting what I'm also getting 3 which is equal to 3 and with these you know what I can conclude that these lines they do not lie on the same straight line that's what it's actually saying to me if I look at it like this it's simple saying to me these are not lying on the same straight line because if they were lying on the same straight line they were supposed to be giving me the same answer all right so I think maybe at that stage we can say this question 17.3 was an error all right because these three points they are not on a straight line on a straight line all right so moving on just to check if there is the other questions here this was now algebra algebra so this was the end out of 75 marks so yeah uh, only it was a good paper only for this four marks i think that was the error and otherwise the paper itself was a good 
paper here so on this case unfortunately uh, one couldn't find the equation of a straight line so it was supposed to be y is equal to mx plus c but we did talk about c remember we said this was actually c so it's y is equal to mx we can write that plus 3 but the problem was the m because you don't know now which one to choose are you gonna choose this one which says m is 3 over 8 are you gonna choose the one says m is 3 are you gonna choose the chance the other one which says um m is 5 over 4 so you see it's difficult at that stage but once you get your m if m was 3 so we're going to say y is equal to 3x plus 3 that is when if it was matching that the gradient was 3 all right so that is how you solve these questions guys and i'm going to attempt again another paper which will at this stage prepare you or put a good foundation as you prepare for your graphs and graph sketching join me again in another reviewing session thank you Thank you.